Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. So, we're not in the tomb. <laughs> that much is, is obvious, I know. I was in the middle of recording an, an episode, which I started back in the tomb, and my recording software just randomly crashed. Now this only has happened a couple times to me, and it only happens when I'm recording Skyrim, so that's kind of annoying, but just gotta deal with it, I guess. So, all I did was I left the tomb, and then I fast-traveled to a location near here. I was on my way back up to the place with the cauldron that I tipped over because I heard there was some ingredients up there. And then on the way, I met a courier right here, who has now walked off, and he gave me a message from a person called the Broker. Now, if you remember correctly, I... or if you remember, I am looking for ingredients to make a phylacrity and a poison. And so I was kind of, in now the Lost episode, I was wondering, like, well, where the heck am I going to find these things? Because I've never heard of any of these ingredients before. And so then this broker message comes. Gershner, your recent acquisitions are not hidden from me, and it would appear that you now find yourself in need of certain materials which may be difficult to obtain. I have the means to provide to you just the sort of specialist resources that other more superstitious of Skyrim's mercantile traders will not. Come to my shack west of Lake Illinalta in the forest of Falkreath Hold if you are interested. Bring coin. The broker. So that is the message I received. So I'm assuming this person has access to all of the ingredients I'm going to need to further this quest line. There's also, still plenty of ore left in that mine. What a waste. What happened at the same time? Blasphemous for a Bosmer to chop wood. To that I say, don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. Okay. Uh, what happened at the same time is that this miner just randomly started talking to me, telling me that there's a ton of Draugr in this mine here. Yes. Um, I don't care about that right now, but maybe we'll come back to this mine at some point and see if there's a reason behind the Draugr coming up. Basically seeing if there's anything to be gained, any knowledge to further my necromantic abilities. But for right now, I'm going to head towards the Broker's Shack, which is there so let's go here looks like we should be able to go up the road to the broker shack and see what this person has to offer i forgot to check how much money i have uh, that's not that much oh boy what the heck random undead Skeleton Stormcloak Soldier, that's pretty cool. Oh, whoa, what's behind me? A oh, werewolf, okay. Cool, so it was a battle between Imperials and Stormcloaks, so now I'm finding both. <sighs> yep. Yep. That reminds me of an alteration spell that I need to equip. So, let's go here. This is not what I need. This is what I need. Empath yeah, yeah, that's what I need. Okay, so you. we'll go here and then we will quick that on to. Yes. It's All right. Fine. This is the spell that transfers damage done to me to others. And I think I need to just start casting that as one of my basic buffs. So that the arrow thing doesn't happen. Let's transfer it to Katria. She can take it. I don't even know. Now we're fighting a spider? And what the hell is that? There we go. Transfer that. If we protect us. Oh, Fight them off, my minions! Oh, 
Okay. Yes! Get back up, Bob! This one. Oh! Bob! You bastards! <laughs> I think that that's it for them. Alright, and hey, look at this. It led us to the broker shack. I think. That's what this is, right? Alright, good job, everybody. Oh, what the heck? Another necromancer. There is only room for one necromancer. And his name is Gushna. Oh! That's not transfer the damage. My link is broken. Bob! Oh, he resisted. But they are dead. Alright. Oh, Ka Catrio, what the? Never mind. Never mind. It's probably going to be a tight fit in here with all my people. Or not, because none of them can come in here. Who's there? Come closer, my dear. These eyes are not what they once were. Ah, it is you. I could sense it from the moment you arrived. Power. Will. Purpose. That is correct. Are you the broker? Yes, my dear. Hmm. It was I who sent you that letter. And now here you are, seeking rare things. Powerful things. Things I think others will not provide. Yes, there are several things that I need. Of course there are, my dear. That is why you are here. Eyes are not the only way through which one can see. There are many things that you need, and I can provide them. For a price, of course. Who are you? I am a simple merchant, my dear. The Great War made very particular commodities far more profitable than they had been in quite some time. Cyrodiil became a bloodbath, and for those of our vocation, a treasure trove worth far more than the vaults of any king on Tamriel. Well, let's just say that the bartering of souls and other things sustained us for quite some time, my dear. Hmm. It's definitely a person I can't trust. Ooh, hmm. Yeah, okay. What do you know about necromancy? There are not many who look favorably upon our artistry in these latter days. Least of all in Skyrim. But as it was in the old days, beneath the King of Worms. Ours is the pathway to many powers beyond the reach of lesser mortals. That is why those of the Mage's Guild hated and feared us. That is why the magic of death still drives the wills of many, even centuries after its patron has fallen into silence. And what can you tell me about the Mages' Guild? The Mages' Guild cared more about their bureaucracy than the study of magic. And oh, how they whined like jealous little children at our own work. How the Worm King would laugh to see them now. The mighty Mages' Guild scattered to the wind with only the sordid bickering of lesser wizards and their politics. 
It's almost as if they never left at all. What about the Synod and the College of Whispers? The College of Whispers dabbles in the necromantic arts. But I doubt they could do more than raise the husk of a weak dead mud crab. Ouch. For them in the Synod, magic sick is burn. just a flimsy the sickest. to woo and impress the Elder Council. And can you tell me anything about the King of Worms? The patron of all necromancers. Manny Marco, the King of Worms. There are still fools who believe he was destroyed two hundred years ago. But we know better, don't we, my dear? Uh, not your dear. Living death is not so easily killed, much less a god. A god? They say that he ascended to the stars, and that the King of Worms watches over us still, when the necromancer's moon is no longer hidden. Of course, there are few now left who show the proper devotion after so long a silence. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. What is the necromancer's moon? Of course. Forgive an old woman's memory, my dear. There would not be as many altars as there once were. Once every eight nights, the shade of the Revenant will shine upon those who pay homage to the Worm King still. And there, with the offering of souls, he gives but a taste of his power. Oh, but you mustn't let me ramble, my dear. You will probably benefit from reading this instead. Okay. Uh, let's just go and see what you have for sale. Black Pearl. Oh, 4,335. Okay. Can I sell you anything? sell off some of this stuff. Can I even sell this? I can. Wow. I'll keep those for now. I'll keep the robes. I'll sell that. She would buy all sorts of things. <laughs> I need some money. I'm going to buy this. Alright, so I can now afford the pearl. Black pearl. Does she have anything else that I need? What? Is... Is this me buying the Tower of Ravenscorn Spire? Is that what that is? Solitude Sewers. I don't see... I don't see anything else of what I need, though. A pleasure doing business with you, my dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all I got was the pearl, which I need to crush, but I still need a vessel and the solution of magicka concentrate. And then I need all that stuff. Uh, but she doesn't have... Did she have Nightshade? I wasn't looking for that. Poison Bloom? 
Oh, I'm sure we'll find what you're looking for. She has a nice shade, I guess. Let's buy some of that, but she doesn't seem to have anything else that I need. <sighs> that is not good, because I have no idea where to, to Come search. Again soon. Uh. Like the magic of concentrate, I have no idea where the heck I'm supposed to find that. I was hoping she'd have more. And also, how the heck am I supposed to crush this pearl up? Use. Uh. I don't know. I don't think my quest has changed. <sighs> I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I go back. Let's let's go back to this, and I'll head up to where we had the cauldron and see if there's anything up there that I missed. Then I guess I check Ravenscorn Spire. And apparently something with Solitude Sewers. You need something? Because she was offering to sell those. <laughs> yeah, in this tower, right. I remember this tower. Let's quick save. I died at this tower. Ah, uh, you know what, we'll just pass it up. Hello, troll. Have fun. Rebels Cairn discovered. Huh. I don't think I've been in there either. The ritual site was up here, right? I don't remember there being a tower, though. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. There's the turned over cauldron. And I was told there's supposed to be a chest. Yeah, with everything I needed. <laughs> oh, crap. But I don't think this is going to help me now at this point. Since I already tipped that over. I can't just, like, reactivate it. Ugh. Uh... Let's go to Solitude, see if I can find these sewers. Because if she has plans for them, I imagine they're here. And then maybe I will find something I need there. you can afford a septum or two i've got a little work if you're interested traveler 
think I remember seeing a sewer grate. Papa says I want some like right there. Hmm. I'm wedding a place to orders. It should be quite speak. Nice to have something happy in the midst of the war. Victoria is practically glowing. Now I'm just walking around looking for sewer grates, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. That just takes me down trees, to the you don't ports. Even feel the branches on your feet. Like you well, this looks like it should have been something. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Aha! Is this... Is this new? I don't remember this building being here. Need something? Or maybe I just never explored worthy enough to find out, and maybe my game would crash. Sure, sure. That's okay. Let's load up real quick. See what these catacombs have to offer. I I really don't remember that graveyard being there. But I really have not spent spent that much time in solitude. But I like to think I spent enough to notice or to remember there being a graveyard. Ah. I was hoping the autosave by going into the catacombs would have kicked in before the crash. Quick save. Oh, jeez. Alright, well this is promising because this model here is not native to Skyrim. The armored... Uh, is it? Hmm, that could just be part of the immersive creature mod. Was made a pact, dressed in blood, signed in blood. The hollow scream words unknown, knells of silence to forewarn that which cannot be unseen. Darkness fathomed daylight's dream. Signed in blood, dressed in blood. Neither death nor calm nor coming spring can stop the scarlet rain or sea. For the seeds have been planted in the void, and the void planted in the seed. Well met. Met with darkness, met with stones, met with kisses, met with bones. The pact is made. Death draws near like a shade that draws strength from fear. Tell me about this pact. Four mortals said the words and brought the blight upon this land. Two knives, one tail, and the hour of death is soon at hand. 
The third with sand between her toes, the fourth with ice upon his breath. Together in ritual and sunken time, they seek the dismal death. The stage is built, but the chairs are all but sterile. What place for one who sits opposed? A challenger, a champion, a hero. For when darkness fells the day and swallows the stars, all that's left to light the path is the fire that burns in mortal hearts. Okay. Then the fates have brought me here. I am your champion. Steel tongues and iron teeth clack day and night for but a septum's peace. Okay. Can you be more clear who made this pact? The cat whispered doubt to the knives, but its blades cut through the knee. It quivered no more, but fur set matted, lapping meekly at its fleas. The knives nodded to frozen breath. Has it read from tome of forgotten death? Flame rose, flame cold, wretched, wrenching soul of old. From the earth born anew, cleansed through blood and both defiled. Water mixed with grains of sand, cut from the curve of the mother's child. I definitely think the first one she talked about was a Khajiit, with the cat's thing. The frozen breath would be a Nord. I guess I'll say this. Frozen words conjured life, soul unbound to cause limitless strife. Daylight's end is Nern's final chapter, sand on the rug, frozen not long after. So it was said, and then signed in blood, but only for three and not for one. The fourth was dressed in shades of red, one soul entered while the other fled. I I have to read that again. Uh crap. So the, the what did she say? Mm. Sand and skin, but no sand to touch. The dune swept over a pact of blood. Was that the wrong answer? Names are all we are. Name it, and it shall be known. It wears a new name. Where is it proud? Same as the old. Mother said, your name is Gwivain. Father agreed. It's a lovely name. The children called her ugly and vain. Mother said, ignore their game. Oh. It doesn't appear as if you came from a broken home, yet something broke you. The knives said and spoke too clear. The land will cry with pain, and pray for a time when they could but fear. Mother, guide me. Father, guide me. Strength to watch it all go by me. I suppose you have no idea how this happened to you. Seems ran jagged on a curved dome. Shuddered, snapped, lost in moans. Thrusting pain, unending pain. Never will it after. Heart bleeds, but no blood comes. Sorrow knows only laughter. Trust was given. Trust was shaken. Love she kept, so it was taken. Love she kept, so it was taken. And she mentioned something about a child. Did... Did they take her, her child in this ritual? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm, we'll revisit... Gavain here in the next episode I think I'm gonna need to hear that all over again to see what the hell she's talking about so thanks for watching this episode everyone I will see you all next time take care